Hello there everyone, as you can see there may be a slight, I'm not sure, but a slight um, trinket and maybe party familiarity difference between this. However, I did want to get a video out on this Thursday. It might be just a random Thursday if you don't live in America. However, if you do, happy Thanksgiving to all of you who do indeed celebrate such a good holiday, typically. Um, so let's be thankful for a good fight here, and uh, hopefully I am thankful for all your guys' time. So let's get this party started with a very good knockback. That stops his repost. He can point blank. However, I have many ways to re uh, to repair all that HP if he does decide to just completely crit on me right away. I'm not actually going to mine too many point blanks. It's going to be some of that repost I don't want to be happening. Ooh, interesting. Now we have options. He can hound Harry where I can flare him quite literally right out of it. And I might do that because it's 50% damage while stealth. So I'm just going to be a huge jerk and just say nah. So yeah, uh, screw your strategy essentially. And uh, here we are. That still leaves me a zealous or a stun. I'm probably going to stun up the uh, highwaymen actually. Depends if this crits. Nope, that's fine. No crit for you means no action for Mr. Highwayman. Wait, is he going to bleed? Oh. Oh? Huh. Interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's smart. I was going to heal him anyway, so I don't know if that was the smartest, smartest of moves. But, hey, got to respect it. Now, what I could do is untransform the Abomination, stun up the Crusader, or... I'll just keep letting Holy Lance. Holy Lance honestly doesn't bother me as much. And the big reason for that is it is just physical damage. Stuns are much more painful than physical. Yeah. 22, and that doesn't do a whole lot for me, in all honesty. Um, I got a lot of options. I could Zealous, or I could go for a stun here. It's a 80% chance. We'll go for an 80. Yep, perfect. Okay. So he's got Holy Lance, he's got... He might pull somebody. He might pull the Occultist to very front row position. Um, we'll see. He would never pull the Arbalos. That'd be a bad move. What? Now, I have to question why you would make such a move. I can clearly bola backwards, damaging you and shifting you. It's just it, it was not going to be a good strategy. Well, okay. I thought, now he's gonna, see, he's gonna Holy Lance him, so I'm probably gonna have to use a heal. Now what I could do is actually untransform an Absolution. However, I do want my bad boy to keep on ripping through the enemy lineup, so I don't wanna, because what I really wanna do is do uh, one rake ability and put this Houndmaster into some difficult territory here, so. Let's do that. Yep, difficult territory for sure. That is a that's gonna have to be a lick wounds into zealous accusation into a rally to the flame, into that into a weird construction into a bowl. Of, wow, that's gonna be this this poor houndmaster is about to just get dunked on four turns in a row. I better start doing some dodging because this crap's about to get ugly. Even you know, that crit ain't gonna save you. Well, it might actually. Ooh, 1 HP, it literally just did save him. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Bola's gonna almost knock both these dudes to death's door. Now, that might, I was just say, that might entice him to do a Holy Lance, though. That's actually... Now, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually gonna pick him to A, heal to bleed, and C to get, well, wait. A to B, yeah. A to heal, B to get rid of the bleed. There we go, I know my alphabet. I do believe so far, though, I have pretty hard outclass this dude as of right now. Just don't crit, that's perfect. Alright. Um, I got some options. I could give a big heal. I could add a lot of stress to the occultists here. I'm a little nervous to do Abyssal because it's not going to do much and if I get critted on a repost. So what I'm going to do is just pull this guy right back in position. Um, 
deny stun next turn, take him to death's door. He's going to have to waste this turn healing. And then once again, we're just going to go right back to a zealous, depending on how much HP. I might have to do a rake first. Ooh. Hmm. It would be an affliction if I do zealous, though, so. Oh, man, he's got one HP again, doesn't he? Yeah, but now he's got options. So I think he has to pick either the Crusader or the Occultist first, because he definitely needs to save them. Which means I can then do Rake, which will definitely take him to the death door. Or I could Bola? I might Bola. See how much HP he gets back on his heal here. Oh, he moved him. Huh. Huh. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing this, dude. You really don't understand what I'm doing here. <laughs> so now he needs to pick the Crusader, because now he's back into bad, bad, bad range. Oh, okay. He's going to force me on the defensive. Okay. All right. Huh. But now I got two dudes back there who can take an abyssal to the face, both going to death's door, unless he decides to... Okay. Interesting. Just trying to figure out where we're going here. He's really refusing. This is really weird. That's a bad choice. Guard dog. I think that's a bad choice, though. And he did dodge it, which is... Don't I get a uh, 15 accuracy? 905? Okay. Yes, it's not the end of the world. So I guess he could heal that. Now what I could do... Yeah, Rally to the Flame. Okay. I'm still thinking, though. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna just try it again, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now, he didn't go to Death's Door, though. I Well, he will if he picks his turn. And then plus 16 stress. And is he taking more stress? No. So he'll go to a... He'll go to an Infliction with no chance of a... What's that called? Yeah, right back to Death's Door. Decreasing Hound's Harry's accuracy. I'm assuming he's going to Guard Dog. Nope. Okay. Yeah, he missed at least one person with the reduced accuracy. Um, but he's still guarding. So what I might do here... I could just heal him. Nah. Do I just do it? 75. <laughs> a lot of options. We're going to see how bad this riposte hits. Eh, it's only 12 on the crit. That's not bad. Oh, and now you're here where I can zealous and... Ooh, ooh, not good for you. He has to do a riposte unless he wants to eat both of these guys. Yeah, he's in riposte, yeah. I'm going to untransform the abomination... He will go to death's door, so yeah. Uh, might afflict him. Might. Nope. Oh, just in time. Oh, baby. One. One stress HP away. I'm pretty sure, though, I have this dude on the ropes, mostly. I can start throwing out stun soon. He has a death's door on this. He's going to go to death's door and an affliction. So wait for it. Who are you going to pick? I'm assuming you pick him to heal him, correct? Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're about to see a very early fight. I'm pretty sure that's an immediate surrender. It should it should be. Because you have no chance of a... Oh boy. Might as well start rallying to the flame. Hey, he's just going for it. Don't know if I can blame him. Don't know if I can blame him. But uh, this is about to get really ugly. Plus 24 stress at death's door. Plus 8 stress. Um, he's got to pick the, the double heal. But 32 stress. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. How much damage? I'm just going to... Oh, jeez. That is just unnecessary at this rate. Reason why I took him down to death's door is because he still has to pick him, so he's gonna get all that extra stress in there. Yeah, road cop with nothing to lose. Yeah. So, yeah, that composition he had was very position dependent. Um, got horribly, horribly countered by, like I said, move, and then also the fact that he could no longer do his uh, stealth in Viz Hounds Harry. 
swapping out my Houndmaster for the Arbalest essentially won that fight. I mean, I don't know what else to say. So, uh, very good stuff. Pretty quick match, thankfully, because I didn't have a lot of time because I do need to go help clean. So, I hope you enjoyed that match. It's, um, uh, you can learn from that how to move and outclass your opponent. If you're wondering why I haven't shown a loss, because this was five days ago. This is like the two matches I lost. But since then, it's been quite the tear. So, I really don't just not, like, show my losses. So, five days ago. I don't even know what that was. It would have been like a weekend or something. I wasn't filming. As you can see, I took a lot of matches on that day. I actually never put up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, at least on that. I think it was Sunday. I was watching football and just playing some Darkest Dungeon. So, thank you for watching. Hope you liked. Like and subscribe below.